Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shenrell. Thank you so much for joining me today. First, I must say, and I'm sitting here in front of this window and I feel very illuminated. <laughs> so I'm sorry I'm a little washed out. It's just very bright and sunny today, which I, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> today, I'm really excited because it is the update for the Project Pan collab project. <laughs> This is a collaborative project pan. It was started by Rebecca and Alexi. I'll make sure and link their channels down below as well as this rounds playlist. The way they have set it up, it is a four month long project and it goes in rounds. I think we're now in round seven and this is actually my first round joining. I was so excited to find this project because it's exactly the type of project that I think really supplements my main project pan that I'm a part of. So this is just a really fun one and they do it in a really fun way. They use a randomizer app and they have um, at least a hundred categories that you can be working from that is like a prompt. So you roll a number, you can say you get number 52. Let me get my little sheet here. 52 would be a product for the current season and you'd have to find something from your stash and you can either choose to pan it or you can do like a usage type goal or something. And I just, I think this is so much fun and I've been having a lot of success with it. So let's talk about the uh, products that I've been working on. I drew number 25 last time, which is a product that you think is overpriced. So I've been working on this one from Grown Alchemist. This is the Polishing Facial Exfoliant with Pink Grapefruit and Glucomannan Extract. It is very fancy. And I had a goal of using it 10 times and I've only used it eight times. So I haven't quite hit my goal. However, there's only one month left in this project and I know I can easily use this two more times in the next month. So that will be an easy one to use up for next time. I drew number 43 with it, which it was a product with boring packaging. And I have this little sample powder foundation from Pure. This is the four in one pressed mineral makeup. And I had a goal usage of using this one 10 times and I did hit that goal. I enjoyed using it on days where I didn't feel like putting on the full on BB cream or anything. And I had a lot of fun experimenting with it, doing like the buff method to see how it would go work for foundation. And I don't know, I, don't enjoy putting a ton of powder on my face but I did feel that it added some coverage and you know did like a I don't know a blending effect I'm terrible you guys are terrible <laughs> but I did use this 10 times so I can roll that out so I'm excited about that I've been working on this mini size of the hourglass caution mascara for a product that a profit a product you're indifferent about. I have gone back and forth on this. I did not like it when it was first opened so much. I liked it more when it was slightly dried out. And now that it is really dried out, you know, it's definitely done for. So I can roll this one out, I'm happy to say. I do have a little bit of a stockpile of mascaras, so I'm happy to work on something else. I've been working on number 54, which is a product you've overlooked but now love. I've kind of gone back on this. Now I don't actually don't like it so much. <laughs> this is a little eyeliner from Aero. I think it's Birchbox's brand. This is, you know, it's a very light pink. It's one you put in your waterline. I am wearing it today and I just don't think it works well. I don't feel like it transfers well. I feel like it's kind of chunky and it's annoying. <laughs> and I didn't use it as much this month as I have in months prior. I have it marked here. Ooh. There's the brightness. I have it marked here for you. So this is where I was up here and all the months. And so here I, here's the difference from April to May. So I obviously have slowed down a little bit in my usage. I haven't been wearing it every day like I was previously, but I'm gonna continue working on this through the end of this project. Okay, number 72 was a color that you drawn to, but really wear. So I decided on a shade from my subculture palette and I'm very drawn to mustardy type tones. So I decided that I would work on this color edge and then I wanted to wear it at least five times. And I did do that. And I was actually quite fortunate because one of my eyeshadow roulette weeks that I had, um, I drew a bunch of green, kind of yellow toned greens that went really well with this mustardy tone. So I had actually a ton of fun playing with this and I feel a lot more comfortable now wearing this shade and I'm happy, I'm happy it worked out. <laughs> Because this is a shade for some reason that I am drawn to. I always want the palettes that have the mustardy tones. But I can roll that out because I did use it five times. All right, for something 83, which is something brown, I have been working on for the, basically the whole project. <laughs> All the writing is rubbed off on this. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil. And I am really happy with my progress. Here we have it marked. And you can see I just have like a tiny little bit left. I will attempt to very carefully roll it up for you so you can see. Look, just a tiny little bit left of that eyebrow product. So I'm really, really hopeful that I can use this up by the end. 
Even on days lately where I haven't been wearing as much makeup, I have thought, well, at least let me put something in my eyebrows. <laughs> so I have been making consistent progress on this, which makes me really happy. But this will be staying in the project through the end, which is coming up next month. But now we get to the fun part. There were three items that I am rolling out, so now I get to roll for three new categories, which is kind of scary going into it's only one month left, but I'm thinking if, if there's stuff I want to continue using up, I'll just roll it over to the next round. All right, I'm going to be using the numbers 2 through 100 with my pretty random app. 52, 32, and 43. Okay, I've done 43 already, so we'll roll one more. 54, which I might have done that one. Yep, I have. <laughs> Let's do it again. 37. Okay, that one I haven't done yet. Okay, I'm gonna look over these categories and go find some things and be right back. All right, I am back. That was more of a struggle than it probably should have been. <laughs> Mostly because I, for every category I wanted, uh, the thing I picked was a lip product. I'm like, no, I cannot, I cannot. I have my lip roulette, I'm already panning a lipstick and I'm panning gloss, so I just cannot add all these lip products. So I had to find some other things. But the very first one, let's see, number 32, a guilty pleasure product. So I chose this blush from Hourglass. This is just, this was just recently in my blush roulette. And of course it's, it's just a guilty pleasure product because it's an expensive blush. And um, I love it. <laughs> I love it very much. You can see, I, I like how buildable it is and how it has a very slight sheen. I feel like actually in this light, it's having a really hard time picking up there. You can kind of see it on the back of my hand, and I think it's just extremely beautiful. And while I didn't pay full price for this, because I bought it off a girl who got it in her BoxyCharm box and did not want it, <laughs> um, every time I see it, I'm like, oh, an expensive blush. So for this, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna just give myself a usage goal. I mean, I do not have any desire to pan this almost brand new blush. Especially since I already have another like blush roulette going on, I think I'm just gonna give myself a goal of 10 uses. I probably won't reach that within the next month just because I have those other projects going on, but that's okay, I'll just roll this over into the next round. I'm okay with that. Next was a product with your favorite shade name. This was actually hard for me, um, but once I saw this, I was like, okay, that has to be it. So this is my Cargo Cosmetics Tokyo and Bloom palette. And it, the shade names in here were actually the whole reason I even bought this palette. I mean, I do really love like the cool toned pinks and purples and everything and some of the warm tones in this palette as well. But the names like Sakura, which is my daughter's name, Mochi, I was like, oh, Kawaii. I was like, all right, all right, Kimono. I was like, okay. There are many things that I enjoy about the Japanese culture and I feel like, uh, springtime there with the cherry blossom festival and everything i'm always drawn to anything cherry blossom themed so this is definitely fit for that i'm gonna do same with this i'm not interested in panning any shades or anything so i'm just gonna go for a usage goal for this palette i'm gonna say 10 times again and once again i probably won't reach that in the next month because i have other projects going on but it might just get rolled over into the next one okay number 52 is a product for the current season which i was immediately like this fits this as well. Um, so I went with a lip product. Now this was one where I really struggled because honestly the lip product that I'm wearing today is probably what I would instantly go for spring color, a very light pink. But this is the lipstick I'm currently panning. So I'm like, mm, I should do something else. So I picked this product from The Balm. This is the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain. This is one of my favorite items in my entire stash. I love it. And interestingly, the shade name of this is Konichiwa. <laughs> The, the color of it, here I'll quick give you a little swatch. On me it pulls more of a bright pink actually, but here it looks kind of peachy and it's just very, very spring-like to me. So it's been interesting, I have my Konichiwa lip stain and my Tokyo and Bloom palette, those two will go really well together. But anyhow, I'm really excited about those. I love using makeup that I really love. I mean, I try not to keep anything around that I don't like, but some t I have some items, however, that are, I don't know, they're just kind of meh, but I don't dislike them enough to get rid of them. I don't know, I should probably stop keeping those items. But anyhow, I thank you guys so much for being here with me as I did this, and we will see you guys in a month for the finale of this project. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to tally up everything, see how much I used up and everything. We'll see you next time. Bye.